Hey dudes, just wanted to have a look at the Victorinox Climber. Um, an absolute classic in the Victorinox lineup and a model I really like and have used a lot. Bought these cool yellow aftermarket scales for this one, plus scales, so we've got a slot for the pen, a uh, toothpick, and tweezers. A little pin slot in there as well for a steel pin. Dead useful. Ubiquitous corkscrew with a slot for carrying the useful tools in there. You get the universal hook. You get the excellent Victorinox all. Great as a ferro rod str uh, striker, general prodder, poker, sharp little pointy thing, but tougher than your knife blades. Quite useful to have, I think. You get your standard basic Victorinox tools here. Small secondary blade, main blade, small flat head driver, great for Phillips screws, can opener bottle opener, large flathead driver, wire stripper notch. Because it's the climber, I don't know why this is seen <laughs> as, a, as a tool to make it into a climber model, but yeah, you get the scissors on there and a lot of people say they won't carry a, a, a EDC tool without scissors. Scissors are really useful to have. I personally can live without scissors on my Swiss Army knives, but yeah, they are really useful to have scissors. I always said if I could only have one model it would probably be the climber as it would cover you for a ton of EDC bases that can be picked up quite cheaply. As time goes on I find myself carrying the compact much more often than the climber. It's a little little bit slimmer, a little bit lighter but still for me covers most of the same bases. The compact has a main blade and scissors, no secondary blade. On the back side of the compact you don't get the awl, you've got the bloody universal hook, which uh, I'd take the awl any day over the universal hook, but there you go. On the back side of the opposite side of scissors layer you always get the universal hook. So you get the hook, not the awl. On the climber you get the separate opener layer, much, much more sturdy than the combo tool that you get on the compact. But the combo tool does work as a if you angle it as a Phillips driver, flathead driver, can open a bottle opener and a wire stripper notch. So yeah, the combo tool replaces these two tools and that whole layer that you get on the climber. So you are getting a slimmer, lighter knife. Yeah, for me the decision is always do you carry the climber for the separate opener layer or the compact? And you get the combo tool and the lack of all. And, and I must say, I do tend to carry the compact far more than the climber. Like I say, if I could only have one, I probably would keep the climber because it has got those sturdier tools. Great, classic model. Any of you guys a fan of the climber out there? Yeah, it's got to be one of the best, the climber, surely, for a normal urban EDC pocket carry cover a lot of bases with this thing. Well, thanks for watching, and hasta luego!